guys, Kitty Cat Looper here, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to get the artifact of the Craig here on Scorched Earth. Yay! So, the artifact of the Craig can be found in the Grave of Tyrants, but this cave is a doozy to find, to say the least. So I'm going to show you guys quickly in the air where exactly I am, and then the cave entrance as well, because it can be really hard to find, especially within all these canyons here. So we do have Blue Ob over here which is going to be behind us we have green ob which is going to be to our left and red ob is going to be almost directly in front of us and then of course dunes as far as the eye can see in the sky i am at 27.9 29.4 be sure to be really close to 28.1 29.1 when looking for this or else you're going to have one heck of a time the cave entrance is you guessed it 28.1 29.1 and it is going to be hidden behind some trees some rocks and it's pretty dark to see inside of there so keep that in mind all you're gonna see is this rock all rock that's all you're gonna see <laughs> so the closer you are to 28.1 29.1 even in the sky you should not have a problem finding it hopefully today we're going to be bringing in our handy dandy thyla getita so let's just jump right into it shall we but first off i want to say a great big thank you to all my current subscribers you guys are amazing and i seriously couldn't do it without you and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button for pro ish art content and if you do like what i provide for you today feel free to hit that like button and guys, I'm aiming for the big 20,000 this year. So help me go big or go home and you all get a cookie. Yay. So going in, it's quiet. And there's lots of resources right in the beginning of the cave. Even those mushrooms, maybe it's not the blue little these things, like I said in the last video. Maybe it's the mushrooms that get you the rare mushrooms. Sometimes things look the same, but be sure to check out my video on how to get rare mushrooms and rare flowers if you guys are wondering exactly where to get them because i have the mind of a goldfish and forget quite quickly so <laughs> while we're walking down in here this one is one of my favorite caves but i rarely go into it it does have water so you don't need to worry about bringing water which i always seem to forget i brought my health brews just in case we get rabies some sleeping bags which of course again i forgot to place down some meat shotgun for the arthur lilas that i probably won't use and be very careful because there are i've seen it megalosaurus in here oh did he just is he gonna get up there are yet yeah, sleeping heads in here so don't come in here at night if you can avoid it because they can get strong when they wake up and they can pick you up off your mount because they're fun i think i have one like hiding along here this is the cave where you for sure get some wolves and saber tooth. The, what is it? The ruins of Noski? No. The other one. Old Tunnels Cave was supposed to have like wolves and saber tooth, saber teeth in them, but I didn't see any in there yesterday. Could have been a spawn thing for single player. Not sure, but this one for sure will have it careful megalania as well so be looking up this cave is very gorgeous you can get silica pearls in here as well i remember that and i just absolutely love what they've done with the place it is absolutely positively breathtaking i'm sure there are explorer notes in here but where they are <laughs> oh lots of resources caves are great for resources never have a problem in here but when you would you guys ever go farming in caves like when i come in here i'm i'm going for the artifact so like tell me do you guys actually go for like resources in caves i know pvp might be different and if you got cave building on i know a lot of people build in the caves but like even pve folks like is it easier to go into a cave to do some farming or are you are you just coming in to get your artifact of all the stranger dangers look there's an explorer note right there found one okay and the the levels seem to be better in this one i know the other ones i was getting like level 10 that was a level 125 so not complaining not complaining at all we can either go the dark way or we can go the light way i'm gonna follow the light 
Why not? I'm sure it all leads to the exact same place. So, and we got a spider following us. Make sure whatever creature you bring in here is got some de decent health. I think they gave Gatita up to 8,000 health now. She did have close to 5,000 before. And we almost died in one of the <laughs> easier caves. So, but Scorched Earth has pretty easy caves. Oh, but be careful of the ru Rubble Golem as well. Because they can pack a punch. Oh, that hurt. And there's babies. Oh, that's a 145 dire wolf. Sorry in advance. We could totally... I wonder, can you tame... Because, like, you can't usually tame in caves unless it's, like... I never get it because, like, I can tame the Akatina in here. I don't... I, I don't know why I'm running. I know you can tame Akatina, especially in Scorch. You can tame the Badung Beetles. You can tame the Megalosaurus, even. Oh, we got rabies. But, like, can you tame the babies? We should have tested that out if we see it. We hear saber teeth. I think there's lots of wall creatures. So that's a thing. Yeah, there he is. Stuck in the wall. There we go. And it has a baby too. Where's your baby? I'm more interested in seeing if I can tame the baby in here. <laughs> Where'd your baby go? It's probably running now. We gotta pay attention. No rabies. So in here, you can find silica pearls as well. Just saying. Might as well might as well point out the sights while we're here. I have no clue where I'm going. I'm so lost. That's okay. Maybe we took the long way. Okay. So, which way do we go? I feel like that's going back, but it's going down. You're going down. Oh, no. This is... Okay. No, we're going the right way. Okay. I think. There shouldn't be too many twists and turns in this one. Oh, there's a baby. Okay. Don't run, little one. Don't run. Be mine. Oh, <laughs> we can get the babies. <laughs> Good to know. So if you see high level babies in the caves, I'm not sure about like the, the other stuff, but you can tame the babies. So we could have gotten that 145 wolfie. That would have been amazing. Okay, I'm going to assume we go down that way. So let's just jump and get, get attacked. Nothing's really aggroing to us. Is it the aggro distance or what? Is it because I'm on a thyla? Oh, 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 look at all the wall stuff just popping out. I would say, I don't know, between this one and the old church cave, it's a toss-up on which one's harder. Although, I always state this, but scorched caves are pretty easy. <laughs> oh, there's the artifact. Found it. I feel like they changed. I don't remember how the where, how and where the artifact was in the last one. My mem or in ASE, my memory is... uh amazing as previously stated so i don't re exactly remember but i feel like it's very different but i could be wrong anyone playing ase can you tell me anyone remember ase can you tell me sir sir just let me get the artifact please so before jumping off your mount just have a look around the room you know oh god this guy's got bite okay it's really cool though really cool now did you guys hear about the easter egg um there was a place i found if you go look at the new caves video that i made shameless plug i just didn't go deep enough into it but apparently there's a cave in those little houses that i found and i wish i would have went and looked a little bit harder but anyways here we are at the artifact of the craig with the artifact and what is this the scorched torch skin Ooh, fancy spawned right back for us but disappeared great but yeah go check out that go, go go if you haven't looked go check it out i didn't explore it enough apparently and i had a feeling there was something in there just a little inkling but i couldn't find it but i didn't look hard enough apparently okay so let's get back out because we're not our mission is not complete until we get out of the cave and be careful because spawns can respawn pretty quick look oh we got baby and a saber tooth okay so it takes them a little bit of time to register that i'm even standing there we should save all the babies but so we came from that way we go this way now it's like trying to find your way back bread crumbing if you will i didn't leave any but we should be able to i almost panicked there what if silos are broken again but 
they're not. Okay, so continue out. I don't and like the twists and turns will take you pretty much the same way you're going. So even if you feel like you're lost, if you're going up, you're going home. That's the way I look at it. But be careful of respawns because they could just catch you off guard. <laughs> Don't, and don't hurt the snails. Ooh, ooh. I love mantis for the way they jump. They're just like, surprise. I usually turn fog and cloud off for videos, but sometimes, like, especially in caves, like, I feel like it ruins the immersiveness. Well, something's in the water having a good old splashy time. What is, what is going, what is going on? Sing are things fighting in there? I don't care what's fighting me right now. I want to know what's going on over there. Nice little pool party. Are you okay? There's a drop. I'm risking it for the biscuit. I don't know what that guy's doing. Uh, ooh, a mantis saddle and some stone. Think arc. <laughs> I'll never say no to resources. I mean, I am. I do like holding on to all the goodies. What's in there? You guys see that? Oh, is that a Capro? That's a Capro. All right. Well, you guys are looking for Capros. They're not really aggroing to us, but, you know. So be careful in the water. Apparently, there's Capros in there. <laughs> you know, the whole time I've been playing in here, I've not once seen a Capro. So that's kind of that's different, to say the least. My game is functioning weird today. Super like. That's awesome. So, guys. As you can see, it is pretty easy to get in and out of this cave. Finding it is probably the worst issue. And then, of course, all the stranger dangers outside when you get out. I would highly suggest bringing at least something a little bit higher in levels, especially in health. Just in case. Especially if you come in at night and you run into a Megalosaurus. But I thought I would quickly show you guys exactly how to get the artifact of the Craig today and how to exactly find the Cave of Grape of Timer. So guys, if you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? I hope you all have a super a duper magical day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.